Hi everybody, my name is Ben Nelson, and behind me is a Geo Metro that I'm converting to electric, and here's what I've done on it recently. I did a little bit of work on it painting. Uh, here you can see I painted one of the rims. Uh, here's the driver's side mirror. Uh, the car came with two mirrors, but neither one was attached. They were both snapped off. Uh, so I reattached the mirror using some uh, long drywall screws. Worked pretty good, except the third one made a little bit of a funny noise, and all of a sudden, whoa, it came out right there. Uh, the interior of the car actually looks pretty good. Uh, here's the inside of the driver's side door, and all I did was I, uh, I just wiped it down with a little bit of armor all, and I started doing some cleanup on the engine compartment too. There's a few spots where there was uh, rust where I just ground it down and I put some uh, rust oleum paint on there. You can tell the shiny parts from the dull parts. Where uh, I hooked up a 12 volt battery with a little battery charger so I can uh, test out the lights and use the radio while working on the car and all that sort of thing. Now here's kind of the bad news. Right here, um, that's where it's rusted through all the way. You really can't see on the back, but it's not so good back there either. And on the other side, which uh, we could see if the wheel wasn't there, that's also rusted through. So that's going to need to get cleaned up and have some support of some sort or another welded in there. I gave the machinist Jim a call and he is available this evening for uh, me to come over and uh, test fit the uh, the motor and the transmission together, see if we've got the, uh, uh, the secondary adapter plate to uh, thicken it up and spacers and uh, see if that all works. Here are uh, the main parts of what's going to go back into the Geo Metro and we're all done. So we got the transmission, the main part outer shell of the motor and the end cap and going down the uh, right down the middle of that thing it's going to go our drive shaft and you can see the commutator here is all nice and shiny after going for a ride on the lathe. Here's our uh, coupler that's going to go on the transmission end, so we can just, just slide that right on there like that. And here's our uh, adapter plate. It's actually two adapter plates because we made one and then decided it wasn't thick enough, so we made another one. Make it bigger. Make it thicker. Here's the Tower of Power with our shiny commutator. And we can uh, look inside. And wow, that looks kind of like in the uh, end of the movie Tron, actually. <laughs> There's the spinny part, and it's not uh, welded together yet, so that's why it's not really fully spinning. But that's kind of the general idea. Is that this? That spins, and then that makes the uh, that makes the transmission go. I uh, still really have no way of installing this engine, but it looks like uh, Jim's going to let me borrow his uh, his chain hoist here. So uh, that should be an improvement over the clothesline we used to uh, take the engine out. <laughs>